and research is under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back! Scientists and researchers taking to the streets. This is a frightening moment. We have seen in the last few weeks how the reins of the federal government are being handed over to the fossil fuel industry. We see appointments uh, by the president-elect to the uh, Environmental Protection Agency, Scott Pruitt, who actively disparages climate science. The nomination of Rex Tillerson, the CEO of ExxonMobil, to the Secretary of State, who has led a company that has for decades disinformed on climate science. The thing about the climate system is that once it's changed, it's almost impossible to change it back. From extreme weather events, to droughts, to food insecurity, to violence and conflict, to mass migration, um, these are the impacts of climate change. I say, whatever is holding you back if you're a scientist, what are you waiting for? It's time. It's past time. Out of the labs and into the streets. We need to stand with those who are defending our water, our rainforests, those who are defending our communities. If we do speak together, I'm confident we can change the course of history. Scientists need to get more involved in, in civic engagement, if not outright activism. The time is now to act. We're going to fight stronger than we ever have because it's more important now than it ever has been to stand up for our communities and not let the oil and gas industry call the shots in Washington. Stand up for science. Stand up for science. Stand up for science. Stand up for science.